It's shattered into pieces. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Freeran is currently facing quite a powerful opponent. He seems to be a very skillful mage who became the Imperial Mage. But he seems to have some sort of code of honor. He's not willing to kill children and he's not taking unnecessary risk. Why does he want to fight Freeran and why does he think, even though he recognizes who Freeran really is, why does he think he can win against her? That is quite worrisome. After all, we have not seen his magic, but we know how much magic Freeran has and how much more powerful she has become over all these years. So, Fern's party has the little bird. They are able to become the first raid mages, or so I think. But I am quite worried about Freeran and her other half of the party. The two girls who might struggle against this strong opponent who literally lifted a massive amount of earth up and separated them far away from Freeran. So Freeran won't be able to support them. They will have to rely on themselves and their own skills. Fingers crossed they can make it. Although obviously I'm only worried about Freeran but do I have to worry about Freyan? As far as we know, she'll probably be alright, but I think this upcoming battle will be an absolute joy to watch. So let's tune in. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks! <sighs> Jesus, it's massive. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting thought. Wow. Amazing. Scary a bit. That's uh, this girl's magic, and the other one cannot find because there is no body of water, right? Although, if she's freezing everything around, she's kind of creating. It's kind of like a frozen water, so the other one should be able to combine. Do something with it. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely against this guy. They are weak. But luckily she can use the defensive magic at least. It is quite unfortunate for them. But her defensive skills are good. I have a feeling that his amount of mana is massive. Oh, that might actually be interesting. Zoltorak物質的なものに対する防御性能は昔とほぼ魔物や戦士の物理攻撃を防ぐには十分な防御性能だったからだ。俺の魔法は物質による圧倒的な質量攻撃だ。それらを取り出して操る
It's not good to underestimate your opponents. But yeah. うそついてんな。てめえ。公爵たれるほどの戦いすきなら水のある場所で私たちを叩きのめしているはずだ。何をそんなに怖がっている。うーん。<笑> Aerial battle. Wow. Oh, Freer is totally going at it. Oh。ファイアトルネイド。What if Freyan were to destroy it? <laughs> Don't tell me it was free ran. <gasps> she actually surrounded herself with such powerful spell. Oh mate. Free ran totally show it off. Oh <laughs> <gasps> she got so close. Come on, Freyan, you can't do it! <laughs> well, that was quick indeed! <laughs> wow, the old one is proper surprised. What if she uses a special spell? And what kind of special spells well have we seen her using special spells mostly it's been folks or ordinary magic well she's not going to torture you she's just going to look for the traces of this girl's magic and find her and defeat her i suppose Oh, Freeman, you are bluffing. But does she know? She could blow the whole forest, but then she would kill too many beings. What if Freeman was to use the Jilver while she was, you know, filling distance, while she was filling mana from this girl? あまりこういうことはしたくないんだけど。見つけた。わかる。ワルトン。見ることもない。殺意がないことなど分かりきっておろうに。ああ、ちょっとごかるだ。じいさんは死ななりてどには痛めつけるつもりだったよ。人はお
But look at the scale of this. He is a monster killing machine. Come on, Freya, and take this barrier down. She's using her hands only? And there is no staff involved? <gasps> oh my god! シャトルインドピースズ。あのエルフの魔法使いが何者だ。受験者名簿によると、ナワフリーレ。勇者一行の魔法使いと同じ名だ。それが魔女は正常の証を持っていたらしい。最後の大魔法使いか。The last great mage. <laughs> totally. And just with her hands, there is no staff involved. Kanne <laughs> ふふふ。ダメだ。一刻も早く止めよう。やっと隙を見せやがったな。あ、全て魔力が乱れてるぜ。この程度の時間稼ぎ。わあ。この世界。お前が水を操る魔法を恐れた理由が。イズ<笑
Are they bluffing? Don't tell me. A battle of fists! <laughs> or they are going to distract them. So then the girl, Laufel, can quickly steal the cage. Oh, perhaps he knows like martial arts or something. I think so. I honestly think they're gonna do a fist fight. <laughs> wow. Well, they have the advantage of one more party member, so I don't see why they wouldn't win this. Or at least steal the bird, you know, and win that way. So three different groups have managed to catch the bird. Nice. There are some that we haven't seen in action though. I guess they won't show us their stories so we can meet them during the second test. Six parties. Okay. So then they will have three days to regain their mana. I guess. Oh, Stark, are you missing them? Ah, bless you. <laughs> yeah, right. I think you are missing her, though. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, that was a nice, nice, nice episode. I still can't believe that. I mean, I can't believe. I don't think I've seen Freerin using magic without the wand. So that really makes her the great mage because I feel like someone on YouTube had mentioned this before that there are mages obviously who use the wand and, and stuff and those that goes far back where magic has been used without any items supporting it. So Freerin can cast spells with her hands only. She doesn't need the staff. But this is a great trick because people would like underestimate her. Flam, obviously, was just using her hands. She was that good. And since Freerin was her apprentice, she must have learned how to do that too and fight without using the staff, you know. But she like multi-dimensional spell or something. I don't know. She proper shattered and crashed that fire. It was amazing. And those two girls combined, you know, water and ice. Top notch. I really enjoyed it. But if it wasn't for Freerin, who totally took the barrier down, their group would still win, I think, because at the end of the day, the group of three um, and Freerin was taking care of the actual cage with the bird, so they would still pass onto the second stage. Second stage, which is going to be the next episode. That, I'm really curious about that. Because they will have to fight against each other. I only hope that Freyam won't have to fight against Fen because the outcome is obvious and only one of them really needs the title to pass through the lands. A massive thank you to anyone supporting my channel, particularly my Patreons and Isaac. For those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon where you can find uncut, full length and 100% opacity videos early release. On top of that, I react to Patreon exclusive anime titles. And as my Daimyo Patreon, you can even get a shout out in the video. Alternatively, you can join this channel as my YouTube channel member, gain access to other exclusive perks, and all of this you can find in links below. Your support means the world to me, and all of the donations go towards the equipment subscription and building my YouTube studio, which is something I'm planning for the future. It's been a joy to watch this anime with you, so I do hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!